Identity escape hatch. Enter the empathetor with FOMO sapiens riding up the yearning curve. An identity provocateur in the pun house mirror with a cute block test revealing quirks in progress. Time for extra happy hours with edibles, edibles, and a labra snickerdoodle on your lap. Now settling in for a Botoxing match. Face oddities, inactive wear, a pawn star in Stalkertopia, underwritten by misadventure capitalists. Enter savior as a service with servable, serviceable heroes du jour. Step out from your closet of overripe dreams. The identities you're reaching out for are just systems of habits. Inhabit their habits. The amphitheater, a joint of no return. Facts evasion. 16 scandals. Daily tantrums. A fail spin of fatal distractions. Flawmakers. Fossil fools. <laughs> Practicing fee love. Milking brand assets. The hedge of allegiance. Truth is up for grabs. Feel the yearn, we're not burned out, but it's a slippery hope. <laughs> Click here for a gateway pug. It could be the primary button on a pug lover site, the call to action. What about an AA site, menace to sobriety? <laughs> a psychotherapy site, cry me a river. Procrastination help site, not so gentle reminders. <laughs> A public speaking site, too shy to shine. <laughs> and an eat well delivery site, get farm to fable. He was the nomad in residence at Gaping Hole Ventures, wandering the breakneck opportunity space, avoiding the usual suspect features. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
an imperfectionist by nature, a perfect fit. He wandered into the shards of truth, the novelty chasm of mass app abandon. Suddenly he had it. He wanted to make a got traction troubles infomercial, but stopped himself with his pivot foot. <laughs> Ambiguity is the only way. She couldn't be friended by a tap or followed so fast. She couldn't stand people hoarding her negative space. And she simply had zero tolerance for douche baguettes. <laughs> the name was Dakota James. She dwelled up in coffee shops but didn't quite blend in. She went all in, really set up shop. An old school faux wood name tag on her table with sunflowers and Venus flytraps in a vase. A painting was held up behind her. This was her iteration on the living statue. She rolled out the welcome mat for any Mary Poppins to her office hours. She was testing a stealth product. You know those autocorrect absurdities as you type out text messages on an iPhone? There are even sites chronicling a hall of shame, like this. What you up to? Oh, nothing much, just cleaning my mom's vagina for Thanksgiving. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. What the fuck? Arr. I try to type China. <laughs> the last time a notable one happened to Dakota, the autocorrect read MC Hammertoe. <laughs> she used it as her DJ name. <laughs> Dakota had an epiphany. What if there could be an iPhone autocorrect override that analyzed your text messages and served as your secret th psychotherapist? It revealed messages as you mistyped. That spoke to you, revealed your inner patterns. It needed a fancy pants algorithm. It needed rhythm, a style, poetry. Dakota James, covert psychotherapy, poet, hacker, at your subconscious service. Thank you. <laughs>